Hannah here with HR Partner, and next I'm going to show you how you can keep track of your company's benefits within HR Partner. So guys, I just want to give you a quick heads up that this is an awesome way to keep track of your employees' existing benefit plans through HR Partner without having to deal with spreadsheets, paper files, or any of that. But you cannot actually enroll for benefits through HR Partner, okay? It's just a way to keep track of everything and your plans that are already existing. You can keep track of any benefit type, so it can be health benefits, dental, uh, office lunches, dry cleaning, any of that. Whatever kinds of benefits your company offers, you'll definitely be able to keep track of them right here in HR Partner. All right, so to get started, click the Company tab here, then click Data Files, and then navigate to Lists. Scroll down until you find the section that says Benefit Types and Benefit Statuses. So under benefit types, this is just basically where you add the category of benefits. So you can add things like health, dental, or if your company offers something like free lunch, you could just add in something like lunch. And next you'll want to add your benefit statuses. So most companies add active, inactive, and pending, but you can add your own benefit status type as well. After you're done setting this up, you're ready to start selecting your benefits for each employee. So navigate to the Employees tab on the left, click All Employees, then select your employee, then click Benefits slash Plans, click Add Benefits slash Plan, and here you can see you'll find those benefit types that you just created. So I'll select Health and add a description, and then type in the provider. If it doesn't already exist, just click Add Option. Now you'll just want to go through and select the start date of the plan and then the end date. And here you have the option to add a value. So you could say something like company is paying $500 a month for the plan. And here you'll select the benefit status. And then this is an area for any additional comments you may have. Now another cool thing is that you can actually set a reminder. So this plan expires next year on the 1st of April. And if I want, I can set up a reminder on that exact date. And that way it'll notify me when the plan's about to expire and I'll be able to take care of that. Click Save. And there you go, all done. So again, this is a super easy way to keep track of your employees' existing benefit plans without having to deal with the hassle of spreadsheets or paper files. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just shoot us an email at support at hrpartner.io.